It's uh, January the 24th, 2019. I'm Dana Dernford, your host tonight. I'm also known as the nuclear proctologist.org. And if you like Freddy Cougar type movies, that's a good place for you. So we're going to do a little, something a little different tonight to try to drive the point home. It's, uh, we got some big stories and we're going to cover them slightly different by just introducing you to the story and then introducing you to the other side of the story they didn't tell you. Japan night, Abe's at Davos, uh, toast and sake from where all those bags are too. And inhaling just one hot particle can cause a cancer. They picked up 30 million bags. Abe makes sales pitch for Fukushima sake. He, he makes that pitch everywhere he goes. You like this little weird wind-up thing. You got to drink sake, sake, good, rice, good, you drink now, yeah, yeah. He just runs around the world, all around the world, saying it over and over. Prime Minister, uh, this little, little doggy shit, shit, shit suits, is it? Makes a sale pitch for sake produced in Fukushima. So they couldn't get rid of the rice and... Now, at the Japanese night in Davos, and so he to get all this media attention. So he's running around the planet just doing that. He makes a speech at Davos, stresses the need to promote free trade. Last thing you want to do is trade anything with Japan. Japan is insane. 29 million becquels a square meter in the soil, says the government. High radiation levels in Tokyo linked to Fukushima. Now, 29 million is you run away, you don't come back. That's game over. Uh, Department of Energy to host TED Talks on nuclear energy. I, I, I got to put something up for a headline, right? I got a great show for everybody tonight. Nuclear energy. Now, you can read these stories below. Basically, it works. Get a load of this. EP founder and president, uh, Michael Schellenberger, he started a company and he called him the president. Give him some self, some accolades, I guess. Why we need nuclear energy. Now, he's been up in TED Talks numerous times, but he was in Taiwan, right? When they were trying to trick the Taiwanese into importing food from the Fukushima prefecture. And, and we're going to show you a couple of hundred studies of Fukushima tonight instead of just turn their narrative apart like I normally like to do. It's like picking your nails. It's the same thing for me. Now, so it turns out that Forbes, this person, Schellenberg, is going around to different countries. Uh, it's sedition. He should be, the Philippines should snatch him, waterboard that. Uh, what he's trying to do is pollute your country. It's sedition against your country. He's coming down there to lie to you, to manipulate you, and to deceive you and the population. It's, it's unbelievable because uh, that country is not frigging around with anybody. And so they should just deal with him so, so the rest of the countries can have some freedom. We are seeking innova innovative solutions to make power rates in the Philippines go down. So nuclear is not the solution. I'm going to show you the counter to the lies that Forbes little mouthpiece is distributing down there. He emphasizes the activity would significantly contribute to the nuclear discourse, discourse course by providing information. Okay, well, that's what I'm going to do tonight. I don't know anything about the information. It's just going to be, uh, you can never deny what I say after tonight, period. It doesn't stop there. You can go read the stories below. Nuclear on clear. There's another story. Michael Schellenberger visiting environmentalist. He's an environmentalist. <laughs> Was a Time magazine idiot of the environment and hopes to convince a president of the Philippines to go nuclear on the basis of convincing arguments and comparative data between countries using and not using nuclear energy. We covered these shields over and over and over and over, but not like tonight. The only bad news since then has been the meltdown in Fukushima, where no one died, according to the 
the weird old losers that is the nuclear. And so you can go read the story. I'm not going to get into it. You got another story about robots you can bl blow. Look, they have. They were supposed to develop robots when Chernobyl started. Chernobyl's still going on. And it, they just gave up on it. Fukushima happened. They have students in schools, actually, will someday create robots. Um, but MIT already has robots. Yale University already has robots. Uh, all these major robotic companies on the planet already have robots. And they're after developing something that is useless compared to the ones that already exist. It's over the top. You can read that story. Uh, after This was an interesting story I picked up today after Japan's nuclear emergency. Uh, close to 50, half a million people forced to evacuate. You know, had they been dropping the numbers? Oh, it was around 70,000 was forced to evacuate, but they didn't need to, you know, that's, that's Forbes' version. No, they didn't need to evapor evacuate. We actually covered it last night. Japan was experiencing a critical time, and so they went in there and... They reestablished telephone communications throughout the area. But it's, it's an interesting story because they talk about the half million evacuated because they're not listening to the Gibri shifter. Japan exports post worse fall in two years as trade war bites. And then we're almost going to, we're going to jump right into the studies coming up here. Uh, radioactive isotope was lost and found was another story I would normally flush out really good. Look what he says here. Uh, CC-137 most commonly produced... Now, the reason I talk about these stories is because there's a lot of laws in each story. In fission reactions of uranium, plutonium, and nuclear plants or explosions. So it's created directly from the chain reaction. It is thus part of the spent fuel pool. Fuel. One of the biggest contaminations, they say, is cesium, but it's actually curium. Curium is the biggest byproduct of the radiated fuel rods. And they act like plutonium. Cesium is just a tracer. You can find it with your Geiger counters. It happened during the Chernobyl accident when about 27 kilograms of a metal entered the atmosphere. <coughs> 27 kilograms of cesium. And then cesium per gram, uh, it's 88 times 78 billion atoms. Each atom can give you an illness or a disease or an autoimmune deficiency. And so distribute out, you can give everybody an illness, right? Uh, and all the animals and insects too. So it's 88 times 78 billion atoms, ionized man-made atoms. Very dangerous. Each one is very dangerous. But you can put a million on the head of a needle. You can't say it. You can't see it. Now you can't smell it or hear it or feel it. But uh, it can, that's enough to poison everything forever. Just, but it was much worse than there was tons and tons and tons, at least 50 tons at Chernobyl. Now, Fukushima, each of the reactors were storing the reactor cores at the top of the building. And we probably will talk about that coming up. During the Chernobyl, it was 27. So it's not a big lie. Oh, let me get a look at this one. Any danger from cesium emanates from these natural emissions of beta particles and gamma rays. Exposure to very small amounts of cesium is not harmful. Just a single atom can give you a cancer. So another deception. TEPCO fails to spot leak of contaminated water. This, these are all important stories full of lies, and we'll just touch on them before we jump into it. That the leak from a tank at the Fukushima, now the tanks, let me move back from the mic a little bit. The tanks, I'm doing it again, ain't I? I got a filter it or somewhere. I have to go grab it, I guess, in a second. But now the tanks, I'm doing it again. The tanks, I'll get up and grab it in a second. Here. The tanks per liter is two sievers. So a five gallon jerry can of that radiated water in the Philippines, and everybody had to walk past it slowly, everybody would die within a month or so. And that couldn't take it to another country and wipe out everybody. But just walking past a five-gallon jerry can of this. And so what they done was they claim it's only tritium. And we're not going to cover that per se tonight, but we probably will touch upon it. Now, no significant environmental impact. This is the last story before we jump into studies. And this actually, I grabbed a bunch of studies to explain to you 
how deceptive a headline can actually be. So you end the story itself. And so you read the story, no significant environmental impact or proposed INL uranium fuel processing, right? And so they're talking about safe and all they need is a study and then they're good to go. Yeah. Now, this is some of the studies that already exist about fuel cycle, um, reclaim uranium plutonium to mix oxide fuel. And it just, I'm not going to really go down the details of these tonight, but plants and aerosols taken downwind. So they show the uranium doesn't stay on the site, but they also show how complex all this actually is. Developing the clearance, you got so many studies. Uh, so it's not like it's just like the headline suggests it's a study. So there's no environmental impact. There's many facets to this going on. You you will pump out. Well, we'll get to that coming up too. Fuel cycle schemes, designs, valuations, thorium. And a lot of this is really important, by the way. Uh, thorium fuel... Uh, with the 232 uranium, which is a fission product, this is how you make the, uh, the fission of the uranium from thorium is you convert it to uranium. And, if, and this decays via several alpha decays and, and ends up with a strong gamma emitter. Technetium, I think it is. Presence of the nuclide might complicate manipulation with the irradiated thorium fuel. Now, it's it's... It gets more deadly for the next 50 years after you use thorium, by the way. How crazy is that? Before it peaks and then it stays there forever. Preparations. So there's so much going on, right, in the fuel. Uh, we got lost there for a second. My apologies. Get right, I'll let that play while we're... Getting back on track here. Just one second. That's Vietnam. Okay, right here. The uniqueness. Okay. So there's there's a lot going on with the fuel. When you look at all the start looking at the studies, and I've went through so much, it's mind numbing. It's truly mind numbing trying to keep up with it and um uh, digest what's really going on here okay so when you look at fukushima now they want the story is fukushima wasn't too bad they got it under control they extracted fuel rods etc 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 there's all kinds of weird cover-up stories and so what i'm going to show you now is this unbelievable and it's just a fraction of what I got, but it's an unbelievable amount of studies about Fukushima. And there is a tiny, tiny fraction I might have shown before, which would have been the airborne uh, studies, I think. And but what it does, it, it debunks every story the apologist will ever say or have ever said. And it does it with their own studies in... And we'll just fly through this stuff because uh, I actually have 500 here tonight with me. And I might just buzz like crazy for a bit of fun. Uh, not that it's fun. It's complicated. And I'm not going to try to detail these studies. So because of Fukushima, they've done studies on that reactor. And then at a mine, at a site, investigations of the impact of the accident and the public opinion. They've done a study. And just bear with me one second. I get a pop filter. Perfect. <laughs> And um, so they pick up 30 of these million bags, but they can't find any radiation in the studies. Update. Uh, so this was a, a model they use, 
we're going to jump into it. i got to stop this in a second. There we go. Just had it on autoplay for a minute. I'm going to turn the mic down for one moment. And then we can hopefully not have popping going on. We got that filter off. It's bigger than my head. We'll get it together. Okay, here we go. Maybe I'll just move over a little tiny bit or should I just disappear so you can do screen captures maybe. Maybe I should disappear so people can, I can come in and out. But just so that people can do screen capture if they want to start grabbing all of these. Atmospheric transports of iodine. So there's, there's, what I'm going to show you is how many studies, which is only a fraction, but just how many different ones. Now, the things to think about when you're looking at these studies is how many pages are in each study. In this one, there's 80 pages. Another one is to think of is the names of the people in the study and then the date obviously right but there's a lot to think about i already and some my apologies here we go and uh just before i forget uh thanks to you to pam i got a 200 thank you um and i'm very grateful that you've done that for me Especially right now is a tough time, so, and I'm, it's the same for everybody, but um, let's get on with the show. There we go. All right. Now I feel better. It's been a long day putting this together. It's been like a passion for me today just to escape the lies and dig out the truth. But East Asia, Northeast monsoons. Okay, and so not only that, this is a plume model just to get you orientated. After Fukushima, this model is only based upon venting from a single reactor. It's not based upon the inventories from the meltdown. Keep that into consideration, but I'll keep reminding you, no doubt. Now, a million backwalls, you should evacuate the West Coast because of that number. But it's not just cesium that we're worried about, and we'll explain that coming up. Geological evidence of tsunamis in the past 3,800 years because of Fukushima, right? They, they've done another study. Now, that country, they picked up 30 million one-ton bags, not to mitigate it, because they only done 3% of the land where the people are too. They, they done that to manipulate victims and people and the Olympics and everybody else in the going there. The trends of the concentration in river waters in medium term and future following the Fukushima and future. Now, at that same time, they're growing food there. They're actually growing food there. I kid you not, they're growing food there. Fukushima nuclear, and we're talking about not a small amount, we're talking about billions of uh, pounds of different products of each, billions of pounds of each type. So like rice is probably 1.5 billion pounds a year just in this one prefecture. China has banned food all the way to Tokyo, including Tokyo, and rightfully so. Fukushima nuclear disaster monitoring and risk assessments. Now, see, you don't need a study. You don't need these studies when you've got 30 million bags. You need a study to, to pretend that 30 million bags don't exist. Public preference for alternative electricity mixes in post-Fukushima. So public preference is done a study on the public, not on the bags. Comprehensive health risks after the Fukushima nuclear power plant accident. Yeah, and, and then you're looking at and seeing these bags all day long, and then the air itself is radiated. You can't have 30 million one-ton bags without the air being so irradiated. It's just going to contaminate everything again, by the way, because it's still hemorrhaging out of there. Radioactive cesium concentrations, coastal suspended matters after the Fukushima nuclear accident. I can probably slip in there, couldn't I? I can make myself a bit smaller. People can still get a screen capture without me. 
I don't like being there by myself, hit away. <laughs> so, radioactive cesium concentration closely suspended matter. Suspended, so like, like the plume in the sky is suspended for extended, it also does that in the ocean. Now, each one of these tanks, these are lethal doses walking past. I, say, I laugh. When you hear me laughing, these are gallows laugh. This is because it's so hideous. The truth is so hideous. When, like, I understand it so well. To me, it's really good. <laughs> it's truly scary. Hollywood has no uh, traction to me whatsoever because it, it can't touch stuff like this. Spatial assessments of radio cesium. That's what I was going to do, cesium, cesium, cesium. Which means I better get my connotations ready for everybody to... Yeah, you couldn't... Uh, just, unfortunately, there's not enough hours in a day. There's really not to do what I do. Because I try to do... Uh, reply to the media basically each day's lies and I usually flush their story out because they lie so much so you're worried about the curium and all those daughters you're worried about the iodine and all those daughters you're worried about the krypton all those daughters and uranium and all those daughters plutonium and all those daughters americium neptunium neptunium and Cesium, strontium, and all them daughters, plus all those acronyms you see up there, you're worried about those daughters in those bags. They're picking up the bags because it's crazy numbers. But yet they have children going to school there, and the Geiger counters don't find the numbers. The Geiger counters are Beckwells for the bags, but millisieverts for the children. It's like uh, the, that country is, has a disease at this their brains are actually rotting and they think it's okay to do what they're doing. Somehow they're able to justify it and still look in the mirrors beyond me. And someday, this is a criminal mind, right, where they can ignore it. And the divergence in assessment environmental impacts for ionizing radiation following the Fukushima accident. Like, this is ridiculous. This is the homeless and the destitute, by the way. It's not Harvard University, Stanford University, Oxford University, MIT University. It's, it's not the major shakers and movers it's, or the students or the alumni or the professors. Or, now I'm laughing. That's sarcasm that time. That was, that was contempt and that laughter that time. A application of radiation, other techniques, and analysts of radioactive microparticles. Well, you know, this is... You, you don't need a technique when you got 30 million one ton bags, 150,000 sites throughout the prefecture. You got to weave your tractor through to get to the farm to grow food and poison everybody. Singular spectrum analysts, abnormalities, uh, great earthquakes, blah, blah, blah. So, they, like, because of Fukushima, there's study after study after Fukushima, but the majority, 99.9%, .9 are only created to pretend this doesn't exist. It's unbelievable how many people are making a living at the cover-up itself, not just media and universities. It's just look at the names of the people in the study. Changes in radio cesium concentration annually, laminated, too far following the Fukushima. You shouldn't, you got to cut down the force and put it on a nuclear repository, but you don't even have one. The bags are so rotten, they're growing plants out of it. They're only meant to last for a couple of years, and they already admitted they're not going to move them for 20 more. U.S. housing prices in the Fukushima nuclear accident. A study. 326 pages in September 2015. No studies on how to deal with the bags, but study after studies on housing prices. Well, we better get a study on housing prices, get a couple of hundred thousand dollars. Each one of these studies are probably a couple of hundred thousand dollars. This is why I have so much sarcasm sometimes when I say, and I got, I got to struggle to raise anything. I'm not trying to be demeaning to anybody that's supporting me and the people that do support me, obviously. I'm just like the blatancy that they don't do my study. 
that arrogance that they do all of these studies just to cover it up. Incredible money. They just boxes of money and they dump it on their table and they all run in, grab and they run off. <laughs> and they write up, I got to do a study on everything. Fukushima will never exist when I'm finished. But that's a crazy study. That's 326 pages of ludicrousness. You can't do 326 pages on this? Particular organic matter in rivers of Fukushima, well, the, the, the mountains are covered, so every time it rains, the mountains washes everything else that's landing everywhere. Woo! An unexpected carrier phrase for radio cesium. Well, I was saying radio cesium, but there's all these other isotopes. There's these cesium, which are talking about is 134, 137, but they're not talking about all the other daughters, and they should be. That's because they're coming from a chain reaction where they've poured salt water over it. The sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs effect. I mean, we had clouds, clouds modeled of the krypton. It's over the top stuff. And they're growing food there. Right in the same water where there's... The bags are 100,000 becquels a kilogram. 55 becquels is an evacuation zone. And yet... They think that it's okay to get on and grow poison food and ship it everywhere. And then you have people like Forbes out there, Steve Forbes, getting these little monsters, giving them jobs and platforms and putting them on a pedestal and then shipping them into other countries. Like he went into Taiwan and then they, um, what they done down there was sedition. With sedition, they rallied all the students at the university in Taiwan to come out and spam the internet anyway after Fukushima, but also for the vote. The vote, like the guy who done this also went on a hunger strike to bring in radiated food to poison everybody right from the same prefectures where we're showing you all these studies. True, the true definition of monsters. Fukushima derived radio cesium fallout and once again, it's not just radio cesium. It's these, all these hot particles. The reactors runs on uranium and uh, plutonium, by the way, not cesium. And that's how they cover it up. But when you've got 20 million particles and Hawaii says they got nothing, but you're getting a per liter in North... And, like, this is ludicrous that we're having this conversation anyway. This is literally insanity. And this is catastrophic numbers. Behavior of cesium in ponds in the vicinity. In the vicinity of the Diachi. Well, that, that part of the country looks like this. They should pick up the whole country and put it on a nuclear waste repository. Why would the Philippines want that? Why would people want sake from this area? Is, why is Abe being put on a pedestal and given the media attention to the vulnerable people? It's just... Wow, we really lost um, humanity. There is no humanity that this is able to happen. Impact of the Fukushima accident on tritium. So once again, tritium. You're not worried about tritium. You're worried about everything. You're, you're worried. Curium is the biggest byproduct, not tritium. And tritium is just radiated water, but they don't portray it that way. They portray it as an isotope. It's radiator water, it's 3H, right? So curium is your biggest byproduct, which is named after the plutonium. It's like plutonium, but it's named after the devil, which killed all the animals and all the experiments in every country. Why, and so there's six times more breast cancer around nuclear power plants. Why are you going to put it in a place like the Philippines where they're having typhoons and cyclones in, I can't remember, in the Philippines specifically, it was a Typhoon Haya, was it? was 235 sustained miles per hour winds. That uh, typhoon originally went over Thailand. I'm sorry, over Fukushima. It converged with another typhoon. And then they went to the Philippines where it uh, displaced 15 million people and it destroyed something like 5 million structures and it, it wrecked uh, something like 41 prefectures or this, the animosity equivalent of the states or countries or whatever, you know, each continent has its own designation of large uh, volumes of land. 
So, like, when you get, when you do this, you're doing this f not for the right reason. You're doing this for all the wrong reasons. You don't have the right people there. You got the victims of society there. It's not deceptive. It's ludicrous that it was able to get to this. This and this was the nuclear industry. This is the the lunatic nuclear industry. Now is trying to victimize the Philippines. They should grab that fucker and put him in a jail and keep him there. And if the government of America says, no, let our boy free, I'll come out and bludgeon him with the knowledge. I don't give a fuck anymore. You're destroying my planet. Someone's got to stand up. Measurements of cesium in Arctic beluga and caribou before and after the Fukushima. A study on belugas and caribou. Now, the reason they're doing a study on it is because they're not going to deny it. When you think about uh, iodine-129, yeah, it's a short throw emitter, but it'll wreck your DNA and your chromosomes. And it does that every, for 120 years. And, but what it is, is a tracer. When you've got 220 million atoms per liter, now these are two separate models you're looking at, two different studies, and all the other studies I'm going to throw at you. The effects of the natural disaster in the marine product, well, the marine product... Like, how can, you, how can you cover the entire Pacific and not contaminate your coastline? And so you're going to have the worst contamination. You did. We have incredible numbers. We're not going to try to get into that tonight. Effects on the marine disaster, an update five years later. They're still picking up bags. The bags are only meant to last two years, and they're going to leave them there for the next 20 years. So every time it has a rain or snow, that's going to wash right through these bags and out into the Pacific Ocean, that coastline where a lot of it, I mean, they had fuel rods and assemblies blown right out of the buildings where they cemented one, two square miles, rather, out in front of the reactor in order to drop numbers down in front of the place so they can claim that it's safe. National and local imaginaries, which is only going to last for a couple of years before the gamma shines, the x-rays and neutrons wrecked that, it's the Wigner effect on top of that will break down any kind of... Um, it shouldn't be on the planet, let alone in a country. National and local imaginaries in Japan and Fukushima around transitions to hydrogen and renewables, contradictory, but also complementary. This was uh, 218 pages, but, 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 not, but not of them acknowledged that you shouldn't do that because there's, you know, 30 million one-ton bags and 3% of the land. They didn't clean up the others, 97% of the land. Therefore, it, it recontaminates the area immediately. When you leave it there, you can't get it out of the roots. You can't get it out. <clears throat> now, they should extradite Steve Forbes down to the Philippines for sedition against their country. Development of Ku Rama 2 and its operations in Fukushima. And Dave Davos, the, like what a disgusting parasite promoting nuclear for many years. On purpose, right? The whole these big organizations are created because the other ones, the, the public turned on them, and now they bring out another one. Same people, same backgrounds. You can't live here or grow food here. You don't even have a repository anywhere on the planet for it, and you're leaving it right there. Even if you did put it in bags and it was all in bags, you still couldn't beat there. But you didn't clean. You, you, you had the homeless and destitute and the victims of society, bless their hearts. God bless their hearts. The victims only. We should be jacking everything that ever went to Harvard University and sending them in the Fukushima Reactor 3 so we can get rid of them. Impact of the Fukushima nuclear accident on obesity in children. I can't remember. It was a double. And just a short, like by 2012, there was double obesity. So your thyroid is picking up, which is an indication your thyroid now has gone whoop. So basically what's going on is you're eating all this food because they were shipping it throughout the prefectures at 500 becquels a kilogram originally, when the original numbers were 0.1 becquel a kilogram because that was four millisievers in their books per year. But what it is, is once you introduce the isotope, the atom itself with the isotope in it, in your body, it sequesters in your muscles, your organs, and your bones. Your body attacks it immediately with white blood cells. You keep eating it every day. You keep um, 
you bioaccumulate it. Now you got more white blood cells than you do a red because your body has to attack that nonstop for the rest of your life. So it's permanent. Depletion of white blood of red blood cells, which carries nutrition and oxygen throughout your body. And so that's called leukemia. So leukemia can show up in a short while if you're eating it all the time, right? And in thyroid issues, 13,646 out of 40,000 children in one study. And girls are much more vulnerable, by the way. Uh, something like up to 10 times more vulnerable in certain studies to radiation. And girls are born with all their eggs. Same thing with the animal kingdom, right? And so you have to protect the female population from radiation at all costs. And uh, UN came out like a month and a half ago and said you shouldn't have to stop sending children and women, young women into these areas. It's just, um, it's, you know, it's, it's dement. It's, uh, it shows that sickness really, but this, this is a whole different type of sickness where the obesity is where the, now the obesity is from the iodine going into the children's thyroid and or other isotopes, because also cesium will go into the thyroid. But what it does is it tries to convert them, these little microscopic atoms, it tries to convert these, uh, uh, these elements uh, into hormones. So if you're eating it, you're consuming it, a lot of it's going to end up, not all of it by no means, because it'll question your muscles, your organs, and your bones. It goes into your, like, your, your pelvic, and that's where it likes to go, starts mutating stem cells. You're done. That's the end of you. You don't like see. You can have a cold plant. You can move away. You'll be okay. Twenty years later, you got sick being there, and just move away. A few months later, you're better. Nuclear power plant. You drive past the sucking and you're freaked down the road. If you eat it, it's insidious. What they're doing is insidious. It's insidious, and I'm not going to sit here in silent while everybody else does. I'm not able to do it. I have a platform. I'm going to use it. I'm in Canada, so I'm lucky enough to get this far. I got six gig orders. Not that that means anything, but I'm just saying. Let's keep rolling. I got too far to go. Input output budgets radio cesium. Input output budget of radio cesium. But it's not just cesium, is it? All their daughters, by the way, and, and Neptunium, Amarice, and all their daughters, and Uranium, Krypton, and Xenon, Iodine, Plutonium, all their daughters. And Curium lacks just like Plutonium, so it's insidious. The bags are full of all those isotopes and the daughters I was showing you, plus many more I didn't show you. Genetic simulation suite for nuclear training improvements after Fukushima improvements. So you can't improve something like this. If you have an accident, this is the exact outcome that time, too. You can improve all you want. But if you have an event happen, that's the end of your country. Why would you want that on your property? Why would you want that on your planet? Why would you want that in, anywhere in humanity? Nuclear power plant closures and local housing values in the German market. So they were studying whether Fukushima was an effect on houses in Germany. <laughs> this is how batshit whack job an 106-page study Use like a thousand bucks a page or something. So these are incredible monies. Unbelievable amount of monies to each of these. Just one of those studies easily would have paid for, plus supported me for many years to come. Would have paid for all the research that we've already done. All these equipment, all these shows would have paid for all of that and much more. And none of them could do it. There wasn't a single academic of any other discipline, not just nuclear, that has ever spoken out because they're too busy making dollars, pumping out them studies to downplay what you're looking at. Well, they mass murder the entire population before they find out what they got done to them. Well, the idea was not, was just to drive everybody away, right? Six gay orders against me was meant to drive me away. It doesn't work that way with me. I don't come from that world. <laughs> I like to play rough. I got no problem with it at all. Bring it. Tritium and radiocarbon in the Western North Pacific, because I'm on the right side. I'm not some sadistic, egotistic, chicken egg, weirdo loser in the nuclear industry, because that's all they are. They're cowards. You had a room full of nuclear academics, and somebody goes, boo, 
every one of them shit their pants right at the same time. Uh, that's not, not kidding. Like, if you put them in a mall by themselves, they would bang into the wall till the security got them. And then the mental institute, oh, it's just a nuclear scientist. We get lots of them. Bring them in. We'll fix them up. They, they can't function in society, those freaks. Now, when you've got 150,000 sites like this here, you don't live in that part of the country. You don't definitely don't grow food and sake and peach juice and play baseball and sports there. And a Geiger counter, if a Geiger counter finds radiation on the outside of the fish, whoo, because the right way to do it is you got to incinerate it and sniff the air, right? And so, because a, a lot of it you can't get with the Geiger counter. The Geiger counter is not going to register 99.999% of the isotopes that are in those bags. And if there's one in there, because of the way this accident is, they're all there. Right? You don't pick up all these bags unless they're all there. Well, that's what the homeless and the destitute and the victims of society. What are you going to do in the Philippines? Now all you, can, all, all you can do, you'll destroy all your land, all your rivers, all your fresh water. All, you like your land becomes zero overnight. And run away and leave your pets, your animals, your communities behind. And then you're going to get manipulated and deceived and tricked by all these studies to go back later. Radioactive distribution, aggregate size, fractions of cropland and forest soils affected by the Fukushima. Downplay, 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 downplay. You don't need a study. You've got 30 million one-ton bags. The studies are meant to manipulate and deceive and twist and just make it impossible for people to understand it. This is why I have to do what I'm doing. Application of airborne, and I don't always uh, help the mess, but a Fukushima waste storage facility. Storage facility, wow, I like that. And then they send the homeless and the destitute in there with paper suits on. What are you doing, man? You'd, like, the suit's got to be four feet thick. So this is, uh, they were putting out headlines. We covered them many times. Sentence so people don't mind dying. No. Now, the Philippines should just grab that guy and hold him for sedition. Acceptance of nuclear power, the Fukushima effect. Acceptance of nuclear power. Utilizing a longitudinal study designed to impact the disaster is acceptance and look at that, 150,000 of those sites that we know about. This is just a tiny fraction of what they should have picked up. There's only 3% of the land we're talking about. The global nuclear liability regime post-Fukushima, study after study, but nothing on how to deal with it. Every study is on how to, get, how to bury it and pretend it didn't happen. Not a single study on what to do with it. Did not, not, they didn't even try to build a robot after Chernobyl or Three Mile Island or the other nuclear accidents they had. And now they only get throw out these flimsy idiot machines just to keep uh, the vulnerable people passive. Dispositions of radio cesium on the river floor plains around Fukushima. The, like, China won't buy the food all the way to Tokyo. They should have evacuated Tokyo. Like, the Philippines would have evacuated their major metropolitan area if they have an accident. Because they have morals. Japan does not have morals. You wouldn't produce all these studies. You wouldn't be able to get away with it. That's a compliment to the industry because they already stopped nuclear power in the Philippines. And so TED Talks, scum, scum, absolute scum, have put that Schellenberg up on their sites twice that I saw already. And all he does is lie the entire time. I showed you so much evidence here tonight that now any court could take him and convict him for being a scam artist with Forbes.com of lying and manipulating, deceiving. And the fact that Ted would put, which is scum anyway, but the fact that they're willing to put him up there again, man, in order to trick the Philippines, it's all about manipulating the Philippines. It's the whole charade. Like we covered it last night, but I didn't know what was going on. I didn't realize he was off to the Philippines to manipulate them. So when I caught the news this morning, I was like, oh, unbelievable. Because we beat the shit out of that scum loser last night. 
taken up a lot of valuable resources, but he's uh, also responsible for Taiwan winning the vote. They went in there and used a dirty route. He went there and marched with the pro-nuclear environmentalists, he called them. And so that person should be in jail a long time ago. That's truly the lowest form of life imaginable. When you do that for a living, you're, you're, you've crossed every line on the planet. You deserve a lot. That's, that's um, no different, but it's because you murder, mass murdering people. But it's, it's a Ponzi scheme, what he's doing with Forbes. But it's way worse than that. He's, that's a genocide and an ecocide by going down and manipulating other people to, to be in this position. You can't see it or smell it or hear it or follow it. It's always coming out of the nuclear power plants. The fuel ponds are always releasing it into the communities. They boil off those ponds, 120,000 liters a day. And uh, the liters are full of the isotopes. That's why they're put there in the first place. They're put there for several decades, the fuel rods, the reactor cores, underwater for decades till they cool down after they've been used. Well, that boils off nothing but isotopes in your community, right? In the reactor core, it's in the containment, right? Then they can put it in a pool. Do you get how stupid this is? It's so simple to see what they're really doing. Oh, no, it's in, it's in, a, it's in a reactor. It's, it's not releasing anything to the environment. Yeah, didn't you take it and put it in a reactor core where it boils off 120 th in a reactor in a pond with no containment whatsoever, which is what Fukushima showed us. They had no containment. There was a study out of South Korea that said they had to evacuate 28 million people if a fuel pool melted down. Got to use a freaking pop filter now. I hate it. Whatever. No choice. The effects of sediment transported on temporal variations, radio cesium concentrations. Radio cesium, you always hear that, right? Radio cesium, radio cesium, radio cesium. And then you got to think about, you'll never hear that word. Well, you will a few times. But it's so rare to hear the words plutonium and uranium. We, we've covered show after show on just plutonium. Nationwide increase. Now, crypto, there was, a, there was another study came out today. I threw it in here so I wouldn't forget it. Nationwide increase after... Now, what this is children being born with one testicle or no testicles. You can't diagnose it on, uh, in the womb. But there's, there's a major increase going on in Japan. Is the absence of one or both testes from the scrotum. And so climbing... There was a study coming out. This is... The recent study in Japan, <laughs> and so then the climate creeps were out there flinging it everywhere because nuclear is climate change. So climate scientists, they promote nuclear. They're the worst people in the planet, period. They're, they're insidious creatures on top of that. A recent study in Japan found a link between temperature fluctuations and a lower male to female sex ratio. Yeah. Well, there was a study uh, in August 2018. And the reason being is all the radiation around them, right? Nationwide increase after the Fukushima nuclear accident. Nationwide, nationwide. Not just because they're growing food and shipping it throughout the country, but because it... it the sewage from even from Osaka was highly radiated. And in between that and Fukushima. Tokyo, like I showed you earlier, twenty nine million Beckwells a square meter is just one one example. I got many, many examples. Radionuclide pollutions inside the Fukushima Diachi exclusion zone, depth profiles of radio cesium, now they talk about strontium. But see and they only picked up the surface, right? We, we showed studies where it went right through all the tsunami debris and two feet down below that, or was it the 10 inches, 11 inches below? It went down below the sand and then 10 inches into the ground itself. So, so the radioactive fallout had worked its way right through all, and there was incredible amounts of tsunami debris. I mean, the tsunami was just... 
So it's easy to, when you see everything else destroyed, to kind of not understand what you're looking at. But at the top of the building was decades of reactor cores. That's catastrophic. And they, they, they took it to a whole different extreme where they, they built this here to trick everybody and pretend there was a fuel pool there. I kid you not. We covered regularly. I might have it in there somewhere. There's a, probably another depiction. They built that in order to pretend the building was normal. <laughs> Right? Because the, the fuel pools are at the top of the building. And the building doesn't exist. Do you get it? There is no building. And the reactor four is the same way. Like, just one dump like this is astronomical. 150,000 of them. And then growing food there. And not, and then justifying it with fake study after fake study after fake study. CCM transfers from canopy onto the uh, forest floor in four years after the focus. Look, uh, 789 pages, but none of them include, I'm sure, all the other isotopes, right? Just the cesium, but they don't include all the other cesium isotopes that are pertinent. And when it comes to a meltdown, everything is a hot particle. You should be looking for cesium, the neptuniums, and all the kryptons, and all the other and uranium in particular, and all the hot particles. Plutonium in the western North Pacific, transport along the Kurosha and implications for the impact of the Fukushima nuclear power plant accident. Well, there's two different studies here. I want to speed it up, maybe. But the whole ocean gets covered immediately in plutonium, uranium, and americium, neptunium. The iodine that fell out as a tracer, when you look at 220 million atoms per liter of rainwater across the continent, then all the other isotopes gets thrown into that equation in that same liter. Oh, boy. You got to deal with it, though. You can't pretend it didn't happen. You can't say just, and this is one of the things we've seen they try to do. They create all these studies to pretend it doesn't happen. Simulation study of the effects of the building trees, paved surfaces, on ambient dose equivalent rates outside at three suburban sites near Fukushima. Three. There's 150,000 sites like that. The aftermath of the Fukushima accident perspective from British Embassy in Tokyo. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, grow some food. Radio cesium. Of course, do you like just over and over and over and over until you're sick to your guts while the word. And house dust within evacuation areas close. And the house dust in evacuation areas where there's uh, 30 million one-ton bags. Wow, wow, wow. I'm so surprised. I'm shocked. Not. Why will the Fukushima disaster change? Jared killed the Pacific Ocean. It's dying. We broke the food chain permanently. We destroyed the phytoplankton, the bases of the food chain, the oxygen chain, the carbon sequestering chain. I went out and done expeditions. You'll find the documentation at my site. The before and after pictures are authentic that you're going to see when you first get there. Now, when you whole area looks like this, millions of bags everywhere you go. Is grown food an option? Of course not. Somebody forgot to tell that to the nuclear industry because oh, you got it. they started growing food right away. And they said... Well, we're going to raise the limits in North America at 1,100 beckles a kilogram, and we're going to raise limits here, but only the 500 beckles a kilogram. If somebody complains, you can say, well, we're, we're half the, the level of what the Americans got. Then they got all kinds of illnesses and diseases. There was over 860,000 cancers, extra cancers by 2012. So they just said, well, maybe we're going to drop it down to 100 beckles a kilogram. The, the nuclear scientists, academics are all there to make studies to say there's nothing wrong with it. They got the job, not to be nuclear academics, but they do these studies like their family and friends and parents have done all their life. They're the inbreeds of the inbreeds. And that's the end of society in that country, in our country, in your country, because no one wants to hold them accountable. Nobody wants to say no. But I think the Philippine president... If he was educated enough, and if you just watch what I'm showing him, showing everybody, 
because I know he's he can understand English, but he would definitely get it. You don't have to be uh, academic to understand this stuff when you're looking at it in the context. Forensic search for the forgotten contaminant, uranium-236, forgotten contaminant, plutonium. Yeah, everybody forgot about plutonium. Well said there. Procedural uh, imaging, imagining a just recovery in Fukushima, the most radiated wasteland on the planet. So study after study, like, how do we get them back in there? So they can make a couple of hundred thousand dollars. Each of these studies are a couple of hundred thousand dollars. 512, so that could be $500,000. I, I equate basically a thousand bucks a page. Assessing cost and effectiveness of radiation decontamination in Fukushima Prefecture. Decontamination. And what they done was they went around in really hot spots and they got the homeless to grind the hot spot. And then they said like, yeah, that's good. Get that part over there. I sprayed it. Response to Waddington J value assessment of relocation measures following nuclear nuclear power plant accident in Chernobyl, Fukushima Daiichi. Well, you don't move them where there's 30 million one ton bags, which is exactly what they're doing and intending on finishing off. They want everybody back, whether they want to or not. And then they lie to everybody every facet of the way. Fukushima derived radio cesium and subsistence uh, consume uh, northern fur seals and celery. Yeah. Estimating the residential land damage to the Fukushima nuclear accident. So study after study after study. I mean, you see those green tarps way back there? That's over the places like this right here. Do you get how much is actually there? Are you able to wrap your mind around? All of this runs downhill to the coastline every time it rains. Valuing nuclear energy risk. No, no. Any benefit nuclear ever ever provided was was mitigated and destroyed by this event here. For every nuclear reactor everywhere ever, forever. It's now, it, it, it nuclear is not supposed to exist. It can only, its entire history is predicated upon deception, which is what they're doing to the Philippines right now. If I was the Philippines down there, I'd grab that guy. Grab that guy, make sure he never comes out of there again. An assessment on the environmental, because that's sedition what he's doing. He's down there to manipulate the country, to trick the country, to deceive the country, to waste the country's money. Crazy stuff. 30 million one ton bags is just a tiny fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a fraction. They start burning through these things. So you can see how hideous is radiation in the atmosphere, radioiodine in the atmosphere, radioiodine. Yeah, here's a study of the radioiodine. That's one study, but there's another study over there showing 20 million particles per liter. There's 10 times more iodine-132 in that same liter, 30 times more iodine-133 in that liter. They ionize and radiate your thyroid glands nine times more effective than the iodine-131 does. And the iodine-131 is effective. These are fission products. The, these types of numbers and these uh, maps showing dispositions covering continents and then the evidence of the bags itself and then the studies to downplay it should revolt. It's truly nightmarish. It's just so hard to imagine that this is actually real. But when you're looking at it through my eyes, I don't know how anybody can ever deny it. Childhood uh, and adolescent thyroid cancers. Now, there was 13,000. They're not going to tell you about that. Here's about the down plane. But there was 13,000. That's 646 out of 40,000 when it's normally one in a million. So 360,000 out of a million when you scale it up. And these numbers, like if you had... Chicken pox, where 40,000 people and 13,646 had chicken pox. Somebody would notice, you would think, right? Or, you know, whatever, right? The flu or whatever. But when the gal got uh, radiated thyroids, that's the game over because that's just one of the, the thousands. There's a couple of thousand well known illnesses and diseases, autoimmune deficiencies and injuries. 
associated with Fukushima or radiation illnesses. So while we're sitting here, we got two two attacks up on me. One says, you're like my dementia-ridden grandmother. Get off the internet, old man. And another comment says, Dana is a China syndrome causing all this volcanic eruption in the ring of fire. Bizarre. They're not happy. Yeah. Can't do studies like that and expect everybody to be happy. Characteristic X-ray detector with a large sensitive area. It's, it's sensitivity to environmental radioactive cesium imaging performance as confirmed in the area of Fukushima. You don't need nothing. Just take a satellite picture and try to count them. And you've got to count all the way to 150,000 because that's how many of these sites there are. You don't, right? The studies are meant, and then like, no, it was pretty good there. Screening tests for radioactivity is something. They don't even go there, by the way. Self-consumption products in Fukushima. Screening tests for radioactivity is self-conduct, self-consumption. So they're like, oh, yeah, no, you'll be okay. We'll, we'll check it for you. Right? And uh, it was who was it? Uh, we've covered these people, by the way, that, that are doing that. It's not just uh, Forbes crew. James Conqueror, Conqueror is another one. Now, you're talking about real-life monsters. People who made these studies are real life monsters. Public opinion changed after the Fukushima nuclear accident and rolled in national context revisited. It's just insidious what we're talking about. New loss of a happy life expectancy. We actually covered that one before because it's such a bizarre study. <laughs> right? No, there's a loss of life happiness. You'll be okay. We're trying to blame it on a mental health problem. Life happiness, because everywhere you go, you look up and there's thousands of bags. Radiocarbon concentration modern tree rings from Fukushima, but they can't find anything where the children are to or the Geiger counters where the children are to. How bizarre and weird is that? Let me drag up some of that stuff too while we're here. You know, I got it. You know I'm all over it somewhere. And DNA. So not even any kids, but the bags are full of 100,000 minimum of Beckwell a kilogram. Radioactive cesium decontamination of a riverside. A riverside. The whole country is a riverside, and it all runs downhill. Six years monitoring study radio cesium transfer. And once again, it's not just radio cesium, right? You notice how he loved doing that? Oh, radio cesium, which is just a tracer, and you got to do an extrapolation, a mathematical equation for all of these other daughters and isotopes. It's not just cesium. It's all the other daughters, too, and all the other daughters, too, and blah, 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 blah. And they don't pick up the bays because there's cesium. They pick it up because there's uranium, plutonium, and hot particles. You're uncertainty analysts and post and curium is the biggest byproduct. And curium acts like plutonium. Curium is highly energetic. Uncertainty analysts and post-accident risk assessment. What's, the, what's so hard about wrapping your mind around? No. Stupid, idiot, moronic, bird brain. Because you're flutter with these studies if you don't know any better, see? And you're not exposed to another narrative ever, no matter where you go. Uh, unless you go to Kevin Blanche's or something like that. But you're, but not uh, basically anywhere else. Nobody's going to come out and just stick their foot in their mouth and try to tear their fucking head off like I do every time. <laughs> Assessment of residual doses, residual, residual. Right, so just uh, the whole academic world is just, the same in Philippines, same in 
China, it's the same in America. Anything to do with nuclear? They're, they're goblins. They're fucking goblins. They're one, excuse the language, they're just goblins. Disgusting, parasitic monsters. The whole industry is nothing but goblins. Similarities and differences is a cesium, as if that was the only thing there. You hear that over and over and over. Distribution of marine environment of the Baltic Black Seas. It went right around the entire planet. And we're talking at numbers, like 20 million particles of the 131. All the other atoms and the isotopes would have been here also. Fukushima and preferences nuclear power in Europe. Evidence for subjective well-being data. Like if you showed people that and said that could happen to your country, everybody would go, no. Because you don't show them that. You show them all these bird brain dipstick losers who who found a niche to steal and rape the, the government and the taxpayers. Oceanic dispersion of Fukushima derived cesium. What about plutonium, americium, neptunium? Look, it, it distributed itself right across the ocean in three fucking days. It was a continuous fallout, a continuous cloud. It was like a, like a uh, snowstorm right around the entire planet that, that is symmetrical. It doesn't stop. The impact of the German response to the Fukushima earthquake wasn't by shears and black plastic bags and green tarps, I bet, but that's what they should have done. Yeah, you would have been pretty weird, rich by now. Iodine isotopes and precipitation. Iodine isotopes and precipitation. Four years' time. So just the air you're breathing is radiated, by the way, no matter where you're to in Japan. It's insidious amounts of radiation. Once again, I remind you, 20 million particles per liter of rain falling on your countries. This is uh, undetectable by Geiger counters. Geiger counters are just good for a tiny fraction of fucking nothing. Rapid ultra trace determination of Fukushima derived. What it does do, you can do an equation and extrapolate if you got something as accurate. Good luck on finding that. Fukushima derived radionuclides and food. But when you see these numbers so much, I couldn't care less about a Geiger counter. Everything is destroyed. But we still got to fight. We still got to make a stand. We still got to. We still got to face the challenge. We, if this was a meteorite coming at the planet, we'd all get our arses in gear, yeah? Well, this is a meteorite. It's already hit the fucking planet. You were sleeping. Wake the fuck up. <laughs> Rapid ultra trace determination of Fukushima derived radionuclides in food. Really? Really? You take us into food? Maybe you shouldn't grow it there, fucker. Just like to kick the shit out of somebody for all of this. Excuse the language. Excuse me for being human. Measurements of air dose rates in and around houses in the Fukushima prefecture. Fuck sakes, they're burning it in the incinerators right across the whole country. Pick it up, put it in the incinerator. Pick it up, put it in the incinerator. That's not the definition of stupid. That's the definition of what the fuck um, are you doing, stupid? Somebody who's doing that should get to... Like... You, like how can you be that stupid to burn it in the incinerators? Well, because the brain, the country is destroyed. They're, they're rotting their brains out. They got radiation, brain-induced mental illnesses themselves. And then they come out with all these studies to downplay it and to manipulate to the people without really telling the narrative. Emergency operating procedures improved based on the lessons learned from the Fukushima Emergency operating was first to come out with fake maps. And you go to now and you look up Pacific Ocean, Fukushima, you'll find this. This is a tsunami map. They flooded the internet. They scrubbed out the word tsunami and put in fallout many times. Just revolting. That was the nuclear industry. They're still doing it out there. Evaluation of ecological half life. Of dose rates based on airborne radiation monitoring. Airborne radiation monitoring. Airborne radiation. Here's some airborne, two different studies. These are catastrophic. It didn't stop coming out of there. And we got to get our asses in gear. Psychiatric outpatients after the 311 complex disaster. Look at all the people with their names on the study. And 805 pages. So, like, if you look at your window and you see all these bags and you think that's wrong 
or that the children got Geiger counters on playgrounds and are being irradiated. Like SafeCast was created, SafeCast, they make their own Geiger counters. So people, the numbers people are finding are nowhere near the numbers that are actually there. Yeah? And they got all these volunteers, they give them all these shitty Geiger counters. And it's still crazy numbers, but they are not good numbers. Like when all the Geiger counters look like that, but yet right alongside of it is hundreds of thousands of bags everywhere. And they can't find, those tarps back there are all bags. But the Geiger counter can't find anything. Even if you put the Geiger counter right alongside these fucking bags with 100,000 backwells up to a million backwells more kilogram, which is what they really actually are per kilogram, you don't even want to go near these bags. These are insane numbers. The Geiger counter still won't find anything. And then to let the children marching off to school with Geiger counters and dosimeters strapped around their neck, I'm not going to sit in silence while I watch monsters producing studies so they can pretend to their children that they're human. It's distribution of radio cesium in different density fractions of temporal forest soils in Fukushima. Well, that's never going to go down because they're incinerating it all the time. I use this particular one because it's a very effective, it really does tell that story, right? I got many headlines about it. Impact of Fukushima derived radio ceased in Western North Pacific Ocean. Well, of course, it arrived in the North Pacific Ocean within three days. It covered the entire ocean and Hawaii, right up there in the middle of, just with my finger, boom, Hawaii just got slammed and it doesn't stop coming out. This model is Noah's model, it's based up on 40 days. And it's only based upon venting. It's not based upon the actual inventories from the melted and destroyed reactors and the continuous releases. So the modelings that they use are meant as a distraction. To react, that's reactor four, by the way, right there. That's four views of it. Like it, like originally, there was that was impossible to get to, to find out what was what. It was, couldn't find anybody out there to tell you. This was unit three, or that was unit four, or this was unit one, or that was unit two, or this was the pump house, or nothing. Nothing. It was unbelievable. Desorption kinetics of cesium from Fukushima soil. Desorption. It doesn't work that way, because, like, you're talking about cesium. Cesium, you've got to model everything, all the isotopes, not just cesium. You've got to model all the uranium and all the plutonium, and when they break down and decay, you got to model all of them, all their daughters, and all those acronyms at the top of the page, and all their daughters are in those bags. Analysts of 129 iodine in the soil, well, Americans and Canadians got hit with 220 million Beckwells per liter, not millisieverts or unisieverts or microsieverts, but Beckwells. I'm laughing because that's how they lie to you, manipulate you, and deceive you like, that's what the Schellenberg is going to do with TED Talks. Oh, you get this many millisieverts or unisieverts or microsieverts. You, it's natural. You get much more in other places around the world. Dopey. Someday, some government is going to snatch that and hold them accountable. And that's the end of the nuclear industry then, buddy. Right now, they're able to get away with it. But, but this is too much. This is too much. You can't. Just sit idly, boy, and let them get away with it. Indonesia, time to be Fukushima. Of course, it fell out all around and went right around the planet every 40 days, traveling around the planet now for years. It's still coming out of Fukushima. The changing risk of perception toward nuclear power in China after Fukushima. Yeah, they, they, they won't eat the food anywhere all the way to Tokyo, including Tokyo. Because they're not stupid. Right? Only countries that don't know any better. Countries where Forbes and stuff like that shows up, they're the victims. Wherever Forbes goes, misery is sure to follow. They're, they're obviously a, a monster in disguise. Regression model analysts of the decreasing trends of cesium. You've got to realize how dangerous it, dangerous it is to do the things I do. You've got to realize how much danger my life is in all the time. If you think that's not true, then, there's some, then you're not looking at this realistically. 
You got to think about how much courage it takes originally just to do anything I do. And that I know what ultimate outcome is for someone like me. I already have six gag orders. It's not a game. It's a huge price I already paid. I ask people to donate because I, I want to do the job. I'm game. I'm get it on. I'm not here to play games. I'm here to get the facts so that the future generation has hope. I'm here to kickstart this planet's fight for survival. My job is to inform and educate and do the research and then pass that passion on to everybody else at some point in the future, hopefully. Fukushima will, a billion pounds of debris is radiated too. So they're not burning the millions of bags that they're picking up. And this model behind me is the fallout from the reactor cores themselves, but it's a model you could use to think of it that way, but it's actually just from venting, and it's only from venting usually cesium from just a single building. And the buildings were all destroyed. Predicting the impact of land management decisions on overland flow generations, implications for cesium migration. So in other words, you've got to downplay it, send in the homeless, downplay it, Fill up all these bags so you can go back there. This is what these studies are, to trick you and deceive you, manipulate you. Anything with milk core models is designed to, you can't understand how dangerous this is. This is reactor four. The building is actually gone. David Suzuki had said if that building went, it was bought by Japan because it would be radiated permanently and you should evacuate the coastline in North America where I'm to. Uh, we went out and done expeditions many expeditions for many months at a time. Last year was four months straight on the ocean. I'm still recovering. I'm still busted up. It was unbelievably tough trip. Uh, but like, you know, I got to whine a little bit because that's what happened. And I'm by myself and I, and I work like a dog all day, every day. I don't stop. Do you think I stop? If you see what I'm up to for the last six years straight, you really think I take any time off? Really? No, I'm game on because we got no choices. Do you think I like what I'm doing? Okay, maybe a little bit. But that's only because I've been doing it for so long. If you don't embrace it, it'll drive you insane, right? I have no choice but to embrace it. But this is incredible difficult. And if I make a little mistake, it gets chopped out and used to attack me. They'll watch all of this until they find Dana made a little Freudian slip. They'll chop that out, put that out. Dana, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Just desperation to silence me. Anything to silence me. The reactor cores at the top of the building. The reactor runs up the top of the building to the center of the building. If you notice over in the other picture of reactor four, none of that exists. Then you got 30 million one-ton bags. Huh, you don't suppose? Nah, couldn't be. Hey, what? Radio cesium interaction with clay minerals. Once again, there's all the other isotopes. Theory and simulation advanced post Fukushima. Quantification dissolved in particulate radio cesium fluxes in two rivers draining the main radioactive pollution plume in Fukushima. The main radioactive pollution plume. Right? That, that's an interesting statement, isn't it? There is no main plume. It the like it's like saying you're downwind. Everybody's downwind no matter what direction you are. You, the, the term comes from downriver. They swapped that out with downwind. That made It made everybody look stupid. And a lot of people don't know any better. So I'm a downwinder. <laughs> but what it is, it's downriver. But anybody says they're downwinder, do you really think the wind only blows in one direction? Like, just think about the things they get you to say and... They start those groups up and get you to join. Well, you got to join the downwinder group. <laughs> no offense to everybody, but you've been deceived. Temporary performance of portable radiation survey instruments. You don't need portable instruments. You need a new set of glasses. Radio cesium contamination of wild boars in Fukushima surrounding regions. Really, do you think the boars are the only thing? Well, that's the only thing that's basically left down there. All the insects have disappeared. The birds got no testicles and their eyes have changed color and they got big weird tumors. Like, 
the, the, I got a study we cover, we show it a lot just because it really does tell the story. Uh, worm thesis is 1.4 million becquels a kilogram throughout the whole prefecture, not just in Maine plume. There's no such thing as a Maine plume. It didn't stop coming out of there. It's so insidious. Uh, I have no choice but to do what I do, work, you know, and so I get a little kind of a little, a little animated here sometimes. That's some good intentions. Fukushima accident, what happened? Ah, they had a big earthquake and a tsunami came through and took out all the coal plants because a nuclear power plant needs its own coal plant. And then the reactors caught fire and blew up and blew up and caught fire and they decided to do that and then come out and pretend that is real. And then they got thousands of studies saying it didn't happen and they sent in the homeless and the destitute and the victims of society. Making sense of complexity and risk governance and post-disaster Fukushima fishery, like they're re-liberating it into the environment, incinerators nonstop across the prefectures. They've shut them down in Tokyo over and over and over. There was four workers at one incinerator had to go to the hospital because they had heart attacks because they're burning so much radiation there. They're bringing it in from other prefectures and burning it in other communities. They've lost touch with all reality. They're contaminating all their water and food. The actually derived radionuclides in the atmosphere, transport, disposition in Japan. Now, once again, this model is based upon, I'm going to double it up, the speed, but it's based upon 40 days. It's not just Japan. It's not just cesium. It's extraordinary numbers. So the boiling water reactors for nuclear power plants cross so what they're doing is now they're fables with this, like they're, they're doing a modeling to say that this happened or that happened, when in reality it melted fucking down, caught fire and blew up. And so the models are meant to you, oh, well, it's not such a bad meltdown or it's okay, it's inside a containment. There is no containment. The buildings are completely destroyed and hemorrhaging into the environment. Risk the thyroid, right, they want to downplay the shit out of it. But at the scale up, it was 360,000 per million when it used to be one in a million. It was 13,646 out of 40,000. 30 million tons of radioactive waste is just a tiny fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a percent of what they should have picked up. The impact of Fukushima disaster in just one prefecture. All 14 prefectures needed to be razzed to the ground and restarted exploratory because it goes all the way down to the root system right exploratory study of taiwanese travelers they ran away and left her everything on a drop of a hat nuclear power means you have an accident whether it was an earthquake or a typhoon or just something stupid construction that you overlooked anything goes wrong you run away and leave everything behind all your assets that's why I say what Forbes is doing is sedition, 100% criminal. Absolutely the worst type of criminality, too, on top of that. Management options for Fukushima Curium. Yeah, give people paper suits and murder them while you're at it. How insidious. Like, it, you can't keep the wind out. You can't keep the rain out. How are you going to keep the radiation out when it'll shine through four feet of dirt? How is a paper suit going to protect somebody? It gives the illusion so they all go do the, the most dangerous job on the planet instead of you should be grabbing Yale University nuclear department by the back of the head, drag them down there, kicking and screaming, and just throw them on reactor three. Fukushima Diachi accident is a stress test for the national system for the protection of the public in the event of a severe... Protection of the public. Protection of the public is not throwing 30 million one-ton bags throughout your country. You can't protect anybody after an accident. The, the nuclear regulatory is, is never went near there. Yeah, send in the homeless. You're going to come have a look? No, oh, we're not coming to have a look. You're fired. Tracing radioactivity from Fukushima in the North Pacific Ocean. I went out and done it. Dispersion of Fukushima radionuclides in global atmosphere and ocean. Fukushima fallout in Italy. Learn how to learn from failures of Fukushima. 
Like the biggest failures is the fact that you started growing food there and catching food in the most radiated place in human history. Plutonium isotope signature in soil and variation in sediments transisting coastal rivers in the Fukushima prefecture. Like when your whole coast is so fucked up, you got to put 3,000 Geiger counters in a town to trick the children into going there. And your bags are 100,000 beckles a kilogram, but you can't find anything on the children's Geiger counter or the children. We have lost reality. And there's no reason to, the Philippines are already suffering for many generations because of severe storms, inability to, um, you know, shelter themselves from these storms. That country, the last thing it needs is nuclear power right in the eye of a major storm. It's idiotic to have it there. You radiate everything because you can't control it. Use a different surface cover materials, enhance removal of radio cesium in plants and upper soil from orchards. So this is a study, right, on how to get cesium, but not plutonium and radium, to, to drop the numbers down so you can grow food there. Instead of a study saying you don't grow food in a radiated place, they got studies to justify it. So, like, when you got a, when you go, you got all these climate crazies frenzied up, and then you start putting up billboards, polluters are bad or something like that. All the crazies will go crazy because now they feel when they drive by, yeah, that's right, you know. But this is what nuclear is. Nuclear is this weird, bizarre, cultish. They're all cult. They're 100% uh, like they're a dangerous cult. Estimation of radioactive source dispersed from Fukushima nuclear power plant accidents. So there's so many studies. Let's zip through a whole bunch. Behavior accidental releases, sodium water, looking at Fukushima from a Chernobyl perspective. Time trends in the cesium in a Japanese diet. In their diet, they're breeding it in the air everywhere they go. You only got to be exposed to it a single time. Just a single time. And that's really easy to do anywhere in Japan. The Geiger counters are there to deceive you, to manipulate. You can't find nothing in the Geiger counters, but the bags are holy shit amounts. It's bizarre. Time trends in radio seeds from Japan diets. From the, they call it from the weapons testing in Chernobyl. Instead of admitting that, that it's in their diet become this, they're blaming it on weapons testing. Do you get how the studies work? Right? That's, that Now that becomes weapons testing. Oh, no. That's weapons testing data. They picked it up from weapons testing. And you put all the Geiger counters there all of a sudden because of weapons testing. You can't sell the food to anybody because of weapons testing, is it? Or is it because your place is radiated beyond uh, recognition now? Your landmarks now are black bags. Political environmental attitude towards precipitatory energy environmental governance. The word governance is such a disgusting word. A survey in post Fukushima. How about quickest way to hang a nuclear apologist? I'd like to see a study on that. Comparison to Chernobyl Fukushima nuclear accident. Well, Chernobyl's one tenth or one one hundred the capacity of Fukushima. The reactors in Fukushima Unlike Chernobyl, we're storing the reactor cores at the top of the building. And they, the top of the buildings don't exist anymore. Lots of apologists have went there to try to bury it. Comparison to Chernobyl, Fukushima nuclear accident, a review of environmental impacts. They didn't pick up 30 million one-ton bags in Chernobyl. They didn't try to move everybody back into the most radiated site on the planet. They didn't bring out the idiot machine like that creature right there from Australia, this disgusting parasite. And they didn't victim. They didn't give the kids mass and send them to the school in Chernobyl. Radi radio cesium, once again, it's not just radio cesium. It's all the other isotopes and their daughters. That's what you're seeing in the bottom. Bars, the daughters, iodines, the xenons, kryptons, uranium, plutonium, neptunium, the cesium, all your daughters, strontium. Nuclear power before and after Fukushima, the relationship between the septum's uh, ambivalence knowledge. And so just study after study to downplay the estimation of cesium isotopes accumulation by the litter, moss, and grass. And show you the models of radioactive fallout worldwide. 
Nine distracting and specific activity of teeth of abandoned cattle. So the abandoned cattle, they went there, the dead animals, and took the teeth out. There's live ones where people are back there. The whole thing is a Machiavellian. It's just as bizarre as it could ever be. All these studies are not supposed to exist. There's supposed to be some checks and balances somewhere, isn't there? Radio cesium interaction with clay minerals. Uranium plutonium interaction with clay minerals and water and, and uh, soil and plants and, and um, root systems and tree branches and leaves. And, uh, so there's, you see, the, the milk core. They used that, done a lot of studies modeling the reactor cores, but they were faking it. Aftermath of Fukushima nuclear, because the cores were ejected. The aftermath of the Fukushima nuclear accident measures to contain groundwater contamination. Well, see, like, this leaches straight down. Sorry. This leaches straight down into the groundwater symmetrically throughout the whole country, right? You've seen children right across the country being born with one testicle or none. Well-being effects of a major national natural disaster, the case of Fukushima. No, no. What made Fukushima... A worldwide disaster was the nuclear. And the fact that they're hiding the destruction of... Just four buildings have done all this damage. Why would the Philippines or anybody else want this in their country for? The effects of the nuclear disaster on marine products in Fukushima. So many studies. The effects of the Fukushima disaster on global public acceptance of... I don't know what they call it, nuclear power. They should just call it what it is. Nuclear a plague. The nuclear nightmare. Why have some people changed their attitude towards nuclear power after the accident? Well, because it's, it's monstrous. The fact that you're moving children back there, that you're growing food there, that you show no, you're wearing paper suits and somehow you think that's the solution and, and you're producing drinks and alcohol and, and shipping it to the most vulnerable of society and then you're hiding it with Geiger counters that don't register nothing. Meanwhile, they're surrounded by millions of bags that are inconceivable numbers. Characterizing regional scale temporal evolution of air dose rates, the air is radiated. Yeah. The air is radiated. That's why you're not going back there on top of that. It's, it's not just everything is radiated, but the air itself is radiated. And the proof is 30 million one ton bags in 3% of the land. Transocean transport of CC 137. Well, it covered, like I showed you the models earlier, it covered the entire continent uh, within about four and five days total. An overview of the Fukushima radio nucleides measured in the northern hemisphere. There you go. Thank you very much. We have another. From Chernobyl to Fukushima and beyond, a focus on thyroid cancer. Well, if you're growing food there and you're distributing it, it's not just thyroid, right? Ty what the thyroid cancer is, last one, one of the last ones to show up, by the way. But the thyroid is taken, is taking the contaminants, the isotopes, and trying to turn them into hormones and then distributing that throughout your body where the hormones are supposed to go. So instead of taking natural elements, it's replacing it with the man-made ones that are ionized, and then that causes your body to be extremely susceptible to viruses and path pathogens and illnesses and diseases and autoimmune deficiencies. Zero truncated panel Poseidon mixture model estimating the impact on Taurus benefits in the Fukushima prefecture. They actually went into the reactor or they fake going into this building and pretending they're in the building. That's Rupert Winfield Hayes to trick the Taurus to go there. I kid you not. They they went and this these are official pictures you're looking at beyond me. That's an official picture there of a building that actually doesn't exist, which is this building here, Reactor Four. But you can see it was destroyed. It it detonated into a like if you just bought that and you came home and seen it like that, then you don't get out the broom, you run away, obviously, right? Let me get back on track here. You're going to start boogieing. Yeah, it is a bit of an extended show, obviously. Night emergency response holds consequences after the Fukushima evacuation. 
So airborne radiation order in Serbia from Fukushima. Preliminary forensic engineering study on aggravation of radioactive releases during the Fukushima. Well, you don't need a study. They've got 30 million one-ton bags. Airborne radioactive iodine in northern Serbia. I just done that there. Preliminary forensic. Let me just say that one. Fukushima radioactivity impact. Well, uh, the impact was everything and everywhere, wasn't it? Radioactive releases from Fukushima accidents as consequences. Uh, you know, catastrophic, right? The bags only meant the last two years. Chernobyl and Fukushima. Radioactive concentration, soil leaves, and after decontamination practices. Well, the fact that you had to pick up 30 million bags and 3% of the land meant you couldn't decontaminate the rest of it. So if, you, if your floor is 100% covered in, say, uh, beer bottles, and you pick up 3%, can you fucking actually tell the difference? No. Vertical profiles, Fukushima derived radio season concentrations in the waters, investigation recriticality potentials, which goes on constantly. Evaluation of ecological half-life dose rates based on airborne radiation monitoring. Airborne radiation monitoring. By the way, the Americans were down there flying their planes, right? I got studies on that here, actually, somewhere. Fukushima nuclear power plant accident. Radioactive contamination of several materials following the nuclear power. Several materials. Several materials. You've got the whole country is covered. Measurements uranium distribution of 235 uranium, which is the fission product, and 238, which can come from a decay of plutonium, right? In soils affected by the Fukushima, so there's many ways to create this. Fukushima accident, so many studies, it's just unbelievable. An experimental investigation of molten pool representing corium composition at the Fukushima plant. Well, the building's detonated. Some of them melted straight down. Reactor 1, Reactor 2. Uh, but it looks like it went straight down into the earth. And then the steam is coming out of the ground at 10 places there, or at 6 places confirmed, and just one story at 10 sieverts per hour to steam. The earth is cracked because the curium went down, hit water, and water evaporate or expands at um, 1,100 feet per second or something, split second. You're talking about 9,000 degree Fahrenheit temperature. So it splits the earth. The steam is continuously coming up for several years, confirmed. It's obviously, it ain't going to stop. You can't get at it. Pouring water on it doesn't, you can't stop 9,000 degree Fahrenheit temperatures by pouring water on it. But that's exactly what they're doing. Study rescue measures uh, at another um, boiling water reactor power plant to cope with a Fukushima type accident. Like you, you, it's gamma shine x-rays and neutrons for about two to three football fields. You can't do nothing. This is why they're sending on the homeless and the destitute and the victims of society and immigrants who don't speak the language in there. So, so these studies are meant to pacify people who are worried. Radio cesium in North Pacific coastal offshore areas of Japan within several months were catastrophic. Impacts of Fukushima accident on the western northern Pacific, China seas, uh, blah, 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 blah. Radio cesium distribution fluxes in typical force late stages after the accident. Catastrophic. In seawater, sediments, marine species in the coastal waters. Well, the whole, everything runs down the hill to the ocean. All the plumes cross the Pacific immediately. You're getting it from both sides. It's coming from the entire, it was suspended from the upper and lower troposphere all the way to the ocean floor. It's not something that you want on this planet ever again. We can't change what happened. We got to admit it to come up before we can come up with solutions. All of these studies means no one's willing to admit it. All these studies means all the academics are working hard to make it impossible for anybody to have a conversation. This is exactly what Schellenberg is doing now in the Philippines, going down there to lull them in, manipulate them, and trick them, and deceive them, and coerce people against their wills by sledge a hand at TED Talks. TED Talks should definitely be disbanded, should be arrested, should be convicted for sedition. This is, look, 8 million species are now on a on chopping block. Humanity is on a chopping block. 
the future of humanity, all 8 million species are on the chopping block. They, 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 thousands of these studies just so that you can't have a conversation. To prove you couldn't have a conversation, doesn't it? They're not willing to have the conversation. They're only willing to make a dollar to tell the lie. I ask people to help me and donate me to me because it's so intensive. There's so many things that I could do to change the game. And uh, I got to drive to do a mall, and I shouldn't, I suppose. It's stupid, really. And we do, we got uh, communications back with uh, Skype machines, so they sent me instructions on how to solve my last problem somewhere in the next little bit. <laughs> Just, I don't stop. And so hopefully once I get, I got so many other things going on at one time here. I'm not complaining. I just wish it was up and running so we can do these interviews. It looks relatively easy to me once we get the kinks out of it. But it's going to be such high quality. That's just, and it's going to be free for everybody to use. That's going to be a huge deal. I think, I hope. And all of these academics, I'll contact them and ask them the interviews. All the people in the stories every day will be getting emails and telephone calls once we get rolling. I'll give everybody, even the trolls will get the opportunity to come bug me on, on the live shows. I don't care. I, I'm so comfortable with what I do with the truth. I don't have to think things out because I'm talking about the truth. All I got to do is an answer. Honestly, I can beat down any fake narrative. I don't have to uh, think about things anymore. I'm, I'm seasoned at this stage. I've been harassed, vilified demonized and attacked worldwide for so long. I got a pretty thick skin and I know how to, to beat the conversation if given the opportunity. And so I'm going to give my own self the opportunity. I'll give others the opportunity and we'll put this to rest once and for all, this nonsense. We'll have a real conversation. And thanks to incredible, unbelievable people that has made this possible, the, the real people on the planet it's amazing that we made it this far. And, but we, we have to be aggressive. We have to be assertive. We, ha we have no choice. This is not a game, see? The, the future of humanity, humanity's last stand is right here. And it's, we, we're up against a, many people, very influential, with a lot of money, a lot of resources. You know, like, I need to raise a thousand bucks a day to even try to compete with something like this, to hire a crew to have the gear and the facility and the assurances that I could pay the bill. I need that consistency in order to tackle it. But I, so I do what I can because I can't, I don't have that. I have the capacity to do it, but I don't have the ability to do it. And so what I do is I'm, I turn myself into that. Which means I'm not allowed to sleep or eat or drink or shower or anything. I got to do what I'm doing 24-7. In desperation, because we've already lost the Pacific. Not because it's easy or fun, but because it has to be done. And then it has to be done right. We can't make mistakes. And so I have to hold myself to a higher standard than I hold you to. Fear of nuclear power evidence from the Fukushima nuclear accident, land markets in China. Right, so land markets in China after Fukushima, they went and studies on a characterizing regional scale evolution of air dose rates after Fukushima. Radio CC migration in, in different forest types in Fukushima. Abundance of birds in Fukushima is judged, which wasn't. Right, there, there was no abundance of birds disappeared from almost every story we, we covered where they were blind and people could walk right up to them. They couldn't fly. Modeling the dynamites of ambient dose rates induced by radio cesium. So there's so many of these studies that meant to downplay it. Radioactive impacts from the Fukushima nuclear accident on the atmosphere. Estimating the impact from Fukushima in southern Spain. 131 iodine made it all the way to Spain. Wow. Chapter 6, the government in TEPCO, because it has a short half-life, but as a tracer means all the other isotopes there. The government in TEPCO problems communicating information with the public. Problems. There was no problem. They just got all these academics to lie for them, willingly. Everybody running out to do the studies. No, 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 there's nothing there. Well, what about all the bags? No, there's nothing there. Well, what about all the bags? There's nothing there. It's like a banana. Prefix. 
And to the special issue, Japanese national mapping projects and large-scale environmental monitoring, mapping in Fukushima Volume 2. There's all these study, 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 study. Marine dispersion assessments, the Japanese energy security predicament, post-Fukushima disappearing, everyday materials, placement of medical resources following Fukushima, preliminary comparison of radioisotopes concentration, sewage, sewage. They can't even get rid of the sewage, by the way. Many, many places there. Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada, sockeye salmon. Prefectures, which which was, uh, they downplayed it. That one was Simon Fraser University, right? Nuclear action derived 3H. Well, what we're worried about uranium, plutonium, what they want to talk about tritium, which is 3H observation, Fukushima fallout in Great Britain. Learning from the Fukushima nuclear power plant, so many studies, 900 pages. Characteristics of atmospheric disposition of aerosols in the mountainous regions. Lessons from Fukushima. Yeah, the lesson was, see nothing, say nothing, tell the people nothing, get studies out there that says there's nothing. And then move on. Take your money and shut up. Effects of the radio cesium fixation potentials and 137 retention. Volcanic soil profiles of Fukushima forest retention. Retention, it never goes away, by the way. Just because you pick it up and put it in a bag, the ground is still contaminated. It's still coming out of there. The air is contaminated. It's still landing there the second you turn your back. It's just insidious, isn't it? In uh, Saudi Arabia, so many studies Fukushima, I could just, I guess that's about it, is it? We're not going to make, there's no way to make it all the way. No, I'll never make it. Never make it. Try to. i tell you what I'm going to do now. For the next 10 minutes, I'm just going to boo through all of these studies. Just said, I'm going to get out of the way. I'm just going to shoot through as many as of these can for the next few minutes because there's too many to get through. So what I'm going to concentrate on is pages. There's 33 pages. There's 216-page study. There's a 170-page study, a 49-page study, a 122-page study, a 600-page study, a 108-page study, a 133-page study, 27-page. What we can learn. Nuclear, new scientists are just unbelievable scum, by the way. 180 pages, 67 pages, 196 pages, 339 pages, 332 pages, 373 pages, 215 pages, 443 pages, 449 pages, 205 pages. None of them could find any radiation, by the way. Airborne fission products in the high Arctic, airborne uh, radiation anxiety and stress. Oh, yeah. It's just because I might have drank that sake. It's the only stress I'll ever have. 214 pages, 25 pages, uh, 1,024 pages. Managing a crisis. That would have been Forbes. Uh, 263 pages, 193 pages, 145 pages, 33 pages. Making a fortune. These fuckers are. 848 pages. 330 pages, 56 pages, 20 pages, 736 page study, 98 page study, aerosol study with five pages, 464 pages for groundwater, 172 pages for the North Pacific, 56 pages for Fukushima rice paddy, 82 pages for the impact on Korea. Etc. 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 150 pages, 460 pages, 200 uh, nothing, three four soil six years monitoring of vertical distribution of the radio cesium in three four soils after Fukushima. Yeah, it goes straight down into the groundwater right away. 185 pages. For 54 pages, 57 pages, 91 pages, 163 pages, 91 pages, 82 pages, 1,090 pages, 54 pages, uh, 143, 173, 931, 11 pages, 228, 14 pages, 156 pages, 191 pages, 103, 175. <laughs> I can't do no more. I'm sorry.
How far did we make it anyway? I don't know, pretty good. How far we got to go? <laughs> I'm going to pull that in there so I know where I left off. Well, I left off way above it when I started counting pages. And I kind of threw the ball. <laughs> That's, I kind of like, oopsie daisy. I knew I was done at that stage. <laughs> I only got 62 viewers. I've been doing this for six years straight. I've been doing it longer than that, but 10 years or something, but slamming the shit out of this subject. We only get better. <laughs> oh, I feel like it just ran a marathon. That's a lot of fun. Let's try not to do that no more. I'll go easy on everybody tomorrow night. I will. Ooh. Where are we? Hello, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Bless you, everybody. God bless everyone. Thank you, everybody. Hugs for everybody. You want quality, not quantity, Dana? Fuck, I do this five days a week, man. Some shows are going to be like that. Quantity is good. In this circumstance, quantity is great. Hi, Elaine. Thank you, Elaine, by the way. Hugs, honey. We'll try to get that um, Skype machine somewhere in the next few days, hopefully. I don't always leave my big phone plugged in, so anybody trying to call me, have to call me on the other phone too, not just one phone, right? I might not get your messages if it's not plugged in because it's internet, and I like to unplug internet sometimes, especially when I'm trying to sleep. Hi, Kitty, Robert, watch and wait, Jace. Yeah, hugs everybody. Hi, Blue Star and Albert. Hugs for everybody. God bless everybody. This was just Stormy, Hi Stormy. Strontium uh, Milks is a blogger, folks. Doing the same as me. Kevin Blanche is out there. Organic Slant is out there, still blogging. Been at it for many, many years. Hi Joyce. Hi everybody. Sacramento. Yeah, I hear you, JJ. I know. I was just having a bit of fun. I was just funning. No, see, the. The reason I was doing it that way is because there was no way to get through it. I was like, oh, I'm going to run for five minutes. And I was just like, oh, shit. That doesn't work for me, but I thought it was funny anyway. It's just trying to drive the point home of how much I actually have. How incredible much. Hey, Mr. Ackerman. We'll get Thomas on the scrape machine in the near future, hopefully. I need one or cat. Anybody wants to get on the show is welcome. I like Thomas a lot. Thomas is really good people. He's an incredible artist, unbelievably talented. Not, not your. He's like the real deal. He's as good as anything you're gonna find out there. Period. He's well established. Um, he's the five thousand dollar a painting type person. So he, he's not some random. Not that it's, being random is bad, but he's he's a seasoned painter, folks. The real deal. H. Thomas Ackerman. It's a. Uh, and he's blogging too. Hi, watching way, everybody. Knee. I'm just trying to scoot through. See if I say hi, Kevo. Hi, Rod. Hi, Thomas. There you are, buddy. And Jace and everybody. Lynn. Bye, folks. Good night, folks. Hugs for everybody. I'm just doing the best I can. And some nights I just kind of like. I gotta burn it up. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of energy today I just had so much energy I've been up since 4 a.m. this morning so that's why you see such a weird show tonight and I'm reading all the I wake up and I read stories on Fukushima studies usually and that calms me I don't know why I, I bet you don't either I, I don't understand any of this of why this works the way it do for me I do know that I understand that I was at a line before Fukushima happened and that I, I have a, a unique insight in my opinion and that I've done the work, I validated 
the information long before I share it with everybody. I quantify my assertions with the documentation. I'm a fucking good guy too. And I just, I want to, I don't want people to lose hope. I don't want, want people to go out there on the internet and only find the shills like Schellenberg and Forbes and that. I want people to have hope. And so I can't have hope unless I can find someone like me. I can't. So I have to fill that void. And I do that by digging up the information and sharing it with you. It's a very humble thing for me. Uh, but it's also very, it, it provides the truth, I think, is all that really matters, right? God bless everyone. Hi, true royal family. Hugs for everybody. God bless everybody. Hopefully I'm feeling a bit better by tomorrow, but we definitely got rid of any energy tonight. Take care, folks. We'll see everybody tomorrow night, same time, same place, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. God bless everyone. Hugs.